Hey guys, welcome to another project and this one is called Canova. Now it's quite simple in terms of if you look at the shape, quite standard shape, but we have added a lot of interest and a lot of detail just like that's pins and I need to, I need to stitch that yet. And uh, I've also shown you in a free video on my YouTube channel how to sew this leather handles onto the fabric. We also learn how to finish this kind of um, finish with the zipper which is called a boat panel and apart from it we have used a cut and sew zipper inside and these are all just bus binding and the tape decoration. This one has got a brown base if you find it difficult to attach a brown base you could make this bag a little bit shorter and use that corner finish that I have shown you in tote bag. You can extend the length by two inches and go and cut out your corners and that will work as well. Let's go ahead and get started with this project. So basically I've put the matching thread on the top and a black thread at the bottom so we don't see the second stitch at the bottom here. Okay, we have sewn the double stitch, if you can see, on either side. And if you look at the bottom, you can't see, and if I just do that, you can't see any frayed edges at all. So we are ready to go on to the next step, okay? So I'm going to open the zip all the way till the end. I won't come off it, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and attach this end and this end here, just half an inch, because all the seams in this bag is half an inch stitches. So let's just go ahead and sew half an inch stitch on either side. Okay, I have sewn in here and then I have sewn in here and uh, I didn't need to iron it because of the canvas I have just pressed the seams open on both the sides now what we need to do is take this opening of the bag and you need to fit this in and see if it fits so I'm going to take all the filling out and when I take the filling out I'm also going to just go and do a top stitch it's not a top stitch just a stay stitch or you can even hand tack it all around so that you don't have to worry about the pins because the pins will stick through and you won't be able to check properly Okay, I have trimmed the edges off and also put a top stitch right at the edge. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to place the zipper side inside the bag and then try and place this. You don't need, to, we're not going to turn the seam, we're just going to place it like this and see if it fits in perfectly. It should fit in perfectly because the patterns are just right. So I'm going to place a pin it's going to be a little bit difficult because you've got a, a lot of layers to go through. So just take your time and be patient. Okay, so this is very important that you fit it. And um, in here, I think I'm just about one by eighth of an inch, a little bit more on one's either side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my seam allowance a little bit in and try and fit this properly because if this doesn't fit your bag is not going to sit right at all. Um, one of the other ways of doing it because if you're a beginner trying this project try without this canvas because without the canvas it's a lot more easier to fit but canvas gives you really neat kind of rigid top and finish but it's also easier to take the um, seams off as well. So I'm just going to go and ever so slightly move my seam away from here, but I think probably I didn't do a proper half an inch stitch. So then I'm going to come back and fit. And once we fit this, we're going to take this off, close this area here. And this top layer is the, the last thing we're going to do. Okay, now I said earlier that I was going to remove the seams and redo the seams, but then on the second thought I went and measured it. I measured this and I measured the round of this on a round, not half, and this is actually half a centimeter more than this one, so it should actually fit perfectly if I kind of maneuver it and just stretch it a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to take a risk and go ahead and put the stitch on so this should fit perfectly. Now, one of the reasons mine's giving me a little bit of trouble is because I have used a lining which is stretchy, which was a stupid thing to do. Please don't do this. Don't use a stretchy lining or um, anything that's stretchy at all because if you're using a rigid fabric, use a rigid fabric lining inside. That will give you a perfect finish. And uh, okay, anyway, so now before we go ahead, we need to close this part, okay? 
So what I'm going to do, my zip is there, so I'm just going to close a little bit. I, actually, I'm going to close all the way till the end. Now, you need to watch this. That is the zip area. And then if I open it up, you can see those corners should match like there. Now what we do, we are going to go and sew a half an inch stitch from there till this end. So anyway, you don't need to measure this because if you take half an inch, that should sit right. Okay. And now the same way, we're going to go ahead and do this side as well. Just make sure that you pull the zipper puller away and then hold both the ends together like that and go and sew from here to here. Okay. If I can show you, I have sewn from here to here and the same way I have sewn from there to there. Now this we don't need because we have actually closed the end of the zipper. So I'm just going to trim the zipper off. Just be careful when you sew that when it comes on the teeth that uh, you don't break your needle. Okay, so the inside actually looks like that. So that is going to be the top of the back. Now what we're going to do is from that corner to this corner just hold it and just make a fold mark because you might want to put a top stitch there so the same way from this corner to this corner I'm just going to hold it because canvas is so stiff it's a lot easier to just make a mark because all you have to do is just score it with your fingers and make the mark and there you have it that just a square neat finish inside okay so we are going to fit this is like a little boat so we're going to fit the zipper boat into there like that and then go and tack it or pin it if you can pin it pin it or you need to tack it you need to tack you can tack a hand tack it as well so we're just going to go and hand tack it all the way around like this, okay? Before we do that, this is the choice you have, that you can actually, uh, if you find it easier that you want to go and sew your handles, you can actually go and do it at this stage because the handle will just sit below your the base of this back here. But we might have to just put a stitch from here to here just so that holds it and it doesn't open up. Okay, let me take this out. At this stage, if you want to go and attach this flap, because this is still sitting open, just go and attach this flap here and here, because that would be a good thing to do. Um, or you can, if you want to put some rivets or uh, some diamantes or anything else, if you're using different fabrics, you could do that. I'm going to go and sew a top stitch. That way my lining is perfectly holding into this fabric here. So, you know, the lining won't jump up when I'm going to use the back. And come back and hand tack the boat into there, like that, okay? So the only thing that would be left is we're going to close this with a black piping all around with a bias binding. Okay, now I have pinned in my boat, the zipper boat inside. Now this is looking, though I did not change anything, this is just looking perfect and sitting really uh, neatly. You can see some wrinkles, but when I lay it flat and if I just hold it like this, then this is all going to sit nice and neat. This stage, go and do a hand tack, or if you are a beginner, I would suggest you go and do a hand tacking before you do a machine stitch. Because I'm quite confident about this, I'm going to go and um, put a machine stitch. I have attached the zipper boat into the top of the, uh, the bag, and this is just an edge stitch, and it's still a quarter of an inch, if you can see. And uh, what we're going to do, before we start off, we're just going to cut about an inch of the bias tape, like that. And then, uh, wherever you're going to start, just put it there. And we're going to start in the center of the piece. So, that is the piece I have kept. Now, that's a bias tape. This, uh, I haven't folded anywhere at all. Let it have a fold, the natural fold it has. So, this is the tape we're going to sew. So, open the tape and start with the center here 
and open the tape and align it to the edge of your fabric like this and now what we're going to do we are going to go and sew on the fold of this bias tape not away from it we're going to go and sew on the fold right away and just go all the way around and when you've come back don't leave anything excess just cut it off here because this fabric is going to bind this edge of the fabric so we're going to cut it off and then sew this is where we're going to start and it doesn't matter where you put this uh, starting point it could be anywhere so let me just hold it if you find it difficult to sew them together just go and tack this first and then you can start sewing so I'm going to fold place my bias tape onto there and then I start sewing on the fold line this doesn't have to be a very strong stitch it could be just be the longest stitch on your machine because they're gonna it's going to go through several layers and we're also going to put a top stitch also I want to tell you that open your zipper because if you don't open your zipper this is going to be difficult to turn it around and this is the most difficult bit because when you come around this corners towards the end of the zip um, you have to kind of move and push your fabrics a little bit to make sure that you kind of sew in the center of that line fold line of the bias binding Okay, so we're coming to the starting point so I don't need all this excess so I'm just going to take off where my starting point is and I just go and join the seam I started so that is the seam we started what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim about quarter of an inch because even though we don't have anything excess when we try and close it this is not going to close all the seams that we have here so we need to trim about a quarter of an inch so I'm just going to trim a little bit and show you okay as you can see when we trim this much of fabric now we can actually give how much ever we want because then you have enough room to maneuver and see if you want to go a little bit further a little bit less whatever okay so basically we're going to go and put a stitch here which will hold and close both of them okay now we have put the stitch now we have to put a top stitch before we go ahead and do it I'm just going to show you how we're going to finish this part okay so that's where we started that's the little loop now fold this in now this might be a little bit longer because I wanted to match the width of this to the width of this one here so from inside this is going to look like quarter of an inch from here it's going to look like it's a little more than half an inch which is what I wanted so what we're going to do we're going to bring uh, we're going to hold this in like that bring this loop you might want to hand tack this if you're not used to doing um, the way I'm showing you okay just hand tack this and let it stay there like that and what we will do would be to just go and bind the ends like so and go and do a top stitch all around that way your uh, finishing and the end will all be finished within this loop will be tucked away in this loop and that's the way we start and finish this binding okay I have done the top stitching of this um, binding now if I can show you in the close-up you can see that's the starting point that we started and on both the sides it gives you a neat finish by doing this technique now I'm going to go and place my handle um, like so and go and hand stitch this now if you want to learn how to hand stitch uh, onto the bag but give the really professional sort of look as if this has been stitched in a uh, leather stitching machine 
I have done a separate video because I'm going to be attaching leather handles for many of the projects. So go and watch it, the links are below uh, the video. Okay, and uh, the one more last thing I wanted to show you was I have in between uh, leaving this black bit in between here. You remember we did a fold on the canvas before. On that line I have gone and sewn just two stitches here to here and also on this side as well. What happens is that way when we close it, it this kind of doesn't open up and it kind of holds in place and that's the width of the base of the bag that we have. So it just overall everything kind of you know gives you that really professional kind of look that we are after. Okay, so I'll go ahead and attach the handle and our bag is almost ready. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this version of Canova. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. I shall see you next time.